this is an ATV winch that uh, can be picked up from Harbor Freight. Um, it claims to have a 2,500 pound capacity. But they're relatively inexpensive. You can get them on sale for 69 bucks if you watch for the sale, and you can throw a 20% off coupon on top of that. Uh, they are remote control. Uh, it's just like a little key fob. Uh, and this particular one is item number 61297. And um, I've had about four of these, and I figured now would be a good time to do a review on them. When you open the box, you get the, get the winch itself. And it basically has the standard uh, type terminals on the end, just nuts, and you can fasten your wires that way. And on the other end, it, it does have a spool release, which you can pull this out, and that puts the spool in neutral so you can pull on it. It has a fairly decent clasp. Um, when I did the research on the cable, uh, I want to say that the cable was capable of 2,800 pounds. Uh, which stands a reason since the winch is only capable of 2,500 pounds. Um, it's pretty heavy. It's not a bad deal for the price. It's definitely not a robust item. In the box you're going to find a, um, a breaker. and um, I think it's rated 50 amps it is. It's a 50 amp breaker. Um, which you'll want to use so you don't uh, cause a short or something fails it won't catch your wiring on fire and uh, there's a little red tag that I s assume you're supposed to keep hanging on the hook I don't think anybody probably ever uses these the uh, key fob and um, it's basically uh, retract and uh, extend and then there's an on off comes with a little bit of wiring and a control box Pretty balky, balky control box, but uh, it works. We'll we'll dive into it here in a little bit and show you what's in there too. And then a, a cable guide. It's a pretty hefty cable guide. It's not bad. Again, you're a you know, sixty-nine dollar winch. Don't expect much, but uh, let's break into this box and see what's inside it. So inside this box is a standard reversing contactor. So if you look up reversing contactor, this is what you're going to find. It's a, it's a relay of sort that allows you to reverse the voltage of a motor. And attached to it is this little box. And this is obviously the, the remote control circuitry. Um, there's a little green antenna on it. That's exactly what that is. It's an antenna. And um, yeah, there's a little number on top of that. But that's what this does. This basically just sends the signals to the relay to flip the polarity so the motor goes forward and backwards. So not much in the box. I imagine if anything's going to fail, it's probably the contactors will go bad every time. But you can buy these. You can buy a contactor uh, on the internet relatively cheap. So I suppose you could service this box yourself if you wanted to. Something interesting that I that I just stumbled upon. Of course, I said there was. I have four of these, and uh, this particular one is six one two nine seven. Uh, I went back to this box, and it is 61258. Both of them say that they're an ATV winch, and both of them say they have an automatic hold loading brake. Uh, the design of the box is identical, but here's the difference. This control box and these wires are a whole lot smaller than what is in the 61258 box significantly difference in size. Well, I don't know if this was a mistake or if this was an upgrade, but you can see the box is significantly bigger than the other box. And the wire size is a whole lot bigger than the other box. The winches look identical and the contents of these boxes, of the bigger boxes, looks to be exactly the same. Um, here's the the box, um, the the guts from the smaller the smaller unit, and if you look at them, they're they're the same. It's just one has significantly bigger wire and a bigger box. So who knows what that change was all about? Maybe it was a safety factor, and the and the uh, they went back and redesigned them. But uh, yeah, you never know what you're going to get at uh, Harbor Freight. That's for sure. One thing I did want to discuss is the transmitters are kind of a pain. And the reason these are a pain is there is a really huge delay uh, from the time you hit 
extend or in or out. And uh, that's funny too, because this controller says in and out, and the other one says um, extend and uh, I forget what it says, but they're, they're worded a little bit differently. But um, anyhow, it's not really worth using the remote. If you can make a manual, it's, it's probably worth your while, just because by the time you hit stop, uh, it's going to spool in another six inches before the receiver actually hits stop. So something that's kind of annoying with these. But again, they are cheap, and uh, you know, I don't think you want to use them for anything, anything really robust, but they do work, they do deliver. Uh, I did have a brake fail on one. I think I might have mentioned that earlier. But um, uh, I was using it, and the auto brake just did not hold. Um, actually, I don't think the auto brake ever held on that one, so it might have been manufactured wrong. But, yeah, sometimes you get what you pay for. And uh, they are cheap. I don't think I'd really recommend buying these unless you absolutely couldn't afford anything else and you wanted something lightweight to work with. But that's what these are all about. They're China imports. Here's one that uh, literally destroyed itself. Um, the cable, if you look up the cable, uh, the cable is supposed to handle uh, like 2,800 pounds. I'm sure there's a safety factor in that. But at least they rated it above the total capacity of the winch. The total capacity of the winch is supposed to be 2,500 pounds. And um, when I broke this particular winch, um, I don't remember what I was what I was pulling. It was something fairly lightweight. I do remember that, and I was surprised that it broke. And I think what actually happened is the the spool uh, prematurely broke, and it kind of wedged itself in there sideways. And the motor's really really torquey, and it just kind of spread it, spread it this this metal apart. But um, the motors are actually torquey. The rest of it's kind of chinzy. So I personally do not think this winch could handle 2,500 pounds. It definitely could handle something a lot lighter if you're putting on an ATV or something, which is what these are for. They're, they're ATV winches.